Alright guys, welcome back. Here we are on episode 18. After our adventures in the cave, I've spent the night just uh, basically counting what we've got and seeing what lovely new Ingrams we can acquire. And I've settled on... I'll show you the blueprints. The broadhead arrow and the tool belt. I'm not sure how the tool belt works, but we're going to find out. Uh, the broadhead arrow is basically one mean looking arrow. I like the sound of it. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to do a damage test on one of our poor innocent dinos. I'm going to pick a try because it's got more chance of surviving it. And we'll go from there. But yes, smithy, smithy crafted, just crafted. Ah, cool. Fiber hide crystal. We got this. Apparently, uh, as, as I said, because of the ingrams forgetting themselves, I am going to make a blueprint using admin controls every time we get something. But yeah, Torbent, Broadhead Arrow. What I really want is to get my hands on the darts. That looks suspiciously like it. But we'll see how we get on. Level 40, that's a bit away. It looks cool. I like it. Right, what was it? Fiber, Hide, Crystal. Crystal. Fiber. Hide. Nice, we got this. What do you need? Fat and a metal ingot to make one. Okay, what do we do with it now? It goes on instead of trousers? Really? This <laughs> Is it actually going to give us the constant purple glow? Is it built onto the trousers then? Equip. Right, that's them. That's that level of ridiculousness. Armor 2.3. Armor is useless then. Right, so this is literally only for crafting purposes. And bloody annoying. <laughs> Straight up, that's annoying as hell. <laughs> right, we can get the rest of our armor sorted out now though. Ah, it's in there for now. Crafted at the smithy. Well, why the hell is it in there then? Yeah. It should come up in the smithy, surely. Yes. So it shouldn't be in there. <coughs> okay, fibre. Throw the fibre in. Uh, thatch. Where's the thatch? We don't have any thatch. Okay. But we will have some shortly, because there's a shed load. So throw some thatch in, let's just check them out then. How much can we make? 22. What's the weight like on them? I guess it's two per go? Ah, oh, we've made 22, didn't we? That made it really quick. Cool, I like it. Put it in there. Uh, what are these? No good to anybody. I want that back. Yeah, you're not good to anybody. You're not good to anybody. You're going on there. You're going on there. You're going on there. You're going on there. You're going to go over here. Uh, blueprints belong in the blueprint box. I've put the slingshot in there, though. Probably never going to use it, to be honest. But you never know. I can be pretty positive actually, we're never going to use that blueprint. <laughs> right then, so let's go do a little test with the broadhead arrows. Uh, why are we still not wearing anything on our feet? I dropped them, shit. Did I drop them? No, I put them in there. They do need dropping again. Right. That's better. Now we've got something to work with. Down the ladder. Jump off. Oh. Lag. Porky. How much health have you got, mate? 800. Yeah, I want a bit more than that. Beefy. And I'd rather do a bit more than that as well. Betty, you're looking like the guinea pig. 
How much health have you got? 1400. 1800. Right, guinea pig. <laughs> ah, she's got to heal up though now, hasn't she? Didn't think that through. Rookie mistake. How much do you get per berry? Nothing. Oh, that doesn't work. Ah, so you can't fast feed and berries. Okay, that was a bad idea. Porky, I believe we've not been to you. This is Lammy. Right. 12, 3, 4. Ooh. Straight in the rump. 12, 34, 11, 84. 11, 84. Can we make a note of this? Because my mass is useless. No, pen doesn't work. Got it. You're on a computer. Notepad. 11.84. Right then. BA for broadhead arrow. The total is 12.34. Yeah, we'll get an idea. And as my head just will not... Oh, the start menu doesn't work. It does. Windows 10 puts a start menu on every monitor, which is pretty cool. Well, it's uh, like the taskbar at the bottom, it carries it over. I like that. That is a nice touch. There are other things I don't like quite so much. Right then. Standard my ass. Give me the scientific calculator. Thank you. So. 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. You're kidding. No? 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> Uh, minus 11 84 equals 50. That arrow did 50 damage to our trike. Okay, back in. Stone arrow. Put that on. Reload. You're back up to full health. Go in the ass again. 11.95. So then, is this worth it at all? One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's funny. That did 39. Hmm. So we're getting 11 more damage per shot. Now when you scale that into a headshot, that might be better. Fully healed yet? Yes, you are. Come over here. <laughs> I want to shoot you. Hey! Yeah, yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, stay there. Stone arrow. Headshot. 11.95. That's exactly the same as it was before. Okay. That's just weird. And you can't get much of a headshot than straight between the bloody eyes. Well, between the horns. Well, that was weird then, because that did no extra damage. That was straight up 1195 when it was on the ass or on the head. Have they made headshots just not make a difference anymore? That can't be right. I'm going to have to test another stone arrow here. <laughs> Sorry, Lammy. Eleven ninety-five. That looks horrendous. It would be really cool, though, if uh, when her eye moves, if the arrow moved with it. But yeah, that's a straight eye shot, and that's done exactly the same damage as a butt shot. Okay, that's curious. Hmm. Have a sip of tea while we ponder this. Are you back up yet? Nearly, nearly, nearly. <coughs> well, that didn't make a difference. Could be the crossbow itself. We now have the super weapon, 
We'll go straight for the forehead again. 11.84. Exactly the same. Right, so currently then, at least in this build, there doesn't seem to be a difference between headshots and non-headshots. Hmm. I don't know what to make of that, really. Kind of annoyed. All that effort I've put into getting the headshots, and they're not doing any different. Can't imagine Lammy's too impressed about being repeatedly shot either. Hmm. Okay. Right then. Shall we go for a little wonder with Harry? He was turning into a beast. Ah, we can also make you a new hat, can't we? Or we could then if we had any fibre. And the monkey doesn't have fibre. Ah, there's something I want to test. Apparently you can now collect fibre manually. All I got was berries. Yeah, all I'm getting is berries. Patch notes, you deceived me. But it is nice that they can feed the cells now. But what would be nice if they set it up like your person? So we got berries and fibre. Like when I go in the bush I'll get berries and fibre. That would have been a nice touch. Why is nothing growing here? Oh, yeah, because uh, I took it all down off the server. <laughs> it's a single player game, not a server. Right. We got this. What we don't have is Citronel. Ooh. That could come in handy. I'm gonna need some weight. So, big Billy. Parky. Beefy. Why can't I find silver? There's silver. Wild parasol. Silver. And Lammy. Let's go, peeps. Fine collection of beasties, if ever there was. Oh, I don't need to make him another hat. Why can't I still make the hat? Because I never got any fibre. <laughs> funny oh, we're far too close to home for this to ever have a decent effect there we go <coughs> get on the monkey right follow the Harry you wait there I do believe I also learnt that other very, very special, awesome engram of the sickle. Hey, hey. <coughs> so, we can go make one of those before we move on. Weapons, melee, hallelujah, we don't have any metal. We're all out. Really? Really, we're all out. Okay, we can't make a sickle just yet then. Check on the rest, won't we, for levels. Anything? Yes, Big Billy needs a level up. Uh, needs a bit more health. Really needs a bit more health. Needs a bit of food as well, poor bugger. Everybody else, looking good, looking good. Silver, before we move on. Need to set him on a couple of things. Right, you need to be on passive when I jump off you don't lead them all astray <coughs> until then let's go swimming boys right there oh another ape man down the river there ape man <laughs> sasquatch let's have a look Level 12, and his best friend the Dillo. Well, that Dillo is going to try it. It will. It can't help itself. That's going to destroy it. 
Dillos are stupid. In the interest of trying to get everybody up here without losing anyone, I'm breaking the trees. Alright then, moment of truth. Is everybody here? No. <laughs> the trikes are bringing up the rear, but they are coming. Kind of. Yes. Ah, there's another thing. Have you noticed that when you're on the back of the gorilla, when you turn your mouse, he turns. He will also strafe. I think it's the only thing in game that will. That is cool. Sure, I saw a tree fall down, but I've no idea what took it down. Come on, get around there. Uh, there's a metal rock there, but I'm not too worried about that one. I want to get up top and get the high density ones. Right, that one there. Oh, yes. And the summit is full of trikes, so we should be okay. Right, he's going to stay there. Everybody else is going to come up the hill. Oh, yes. Look at that. Give us the metal, please. This is going to be a good trip. I can feel it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Finally, you decided to join us. Good to see you. Dun, 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 dun. Keep that. Metal, stone, crystal. Awesome. Right, you follow myself. There's another shiny one over there. Look. Okay, you wait there a minute. I won't be long. Just go get this. Oh, give me the metal. <coughs> Some people mine for gold. Metal is far more important on this island than gold. And gold itself, well, it's called a precious metal and it's worth a lot. It's really soft. So it's useless for anything other than looking pretty. Straight up. The wife would still have me spend a fortune on it, but I'm not. <laughs> right, <coughs> up we go. Oh yes. And we're surrounded by trikes, so I'm assuming there's nothing big and dangerous up here. Don't think that we have all ours. Mammy, Porky, Beefy, yes we do. The rear guard arrived. Ah, big days. We were so close to getting uh, the next stage of water as well, the water jar. I think I'm one ingram point short. But that's going to have to wait until next level now. Not too concerned. Put you on follow, because we're going higher. Check this out, check this out. Crystals! Finally! <laughs> and we will need... Ooh, red mushroom too. Nice. We're on a roll, guys. We're on a roll. Metal tools for the win. And, using the vanilla sprinkles mod, I believe there is a higher tier than this time. We're going to be having some of that. Whether I have to cheat the blueprint in or not, we are having that. Right, how much weight have you got? 300. Yeah, you're alright. Take a bit of this. Yeah, 92. He's good. He's good. Uh, see if we can spot him. And find out when we get him. Oh, that's normal stuff. Yada, 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 yada. Here we go. Okay. Unknown. There we go. Level 45. Oh. What the hell is that? Blow dart? Don't know. Level 45, that's where the magic is. Even better gathering tools. So on the, the server we're using a mod called Akushima. It's similar, but not quite. Um, apparently it doesn't interfere with the files as much as vanilla sprinkles. But I don't know. I've, I like the sound of vanilla sprinkles better, but that requires a server restart to implement it and it's not happening. Not just yet, anyway. And 
it seems like vanilla sprinkles may have a couple of other issues too so it's for me it's a better mod but it's not quite as refined so it depends what you want from your game really Before we get encumbered, let's uh, run some of this back. You've already got a load. We can go to 265, will you? Yeah, we've got plenty of space left on them. The beasts are good. And then we'll run home. Oh, look at the shiny. <laughs> So shiny. That's better. I can actually see now without getting flash burn. We are running out of water though. The next water stage, the water jar, does not leak like these water the pouches do. What is it? Water skin. That makes more sense. Right now we're out of water. Which is gonna be a problem. Possibly. Maybe not, we'll go picking some berries up off a track. Any crystals? Don't know, I think we've got all the crystals. Over this side anyway. Ah. There you've got 89, pop them on there. You can have that. And that again. Oh, you have a 265 one. Right, uh, hold that down. Someone mentioned as well, if you're in your inventory and you press and hold the hotkey button, it zaps through it all really, really quick. Didn't realize that. It's very cool. bit of K action just so we can find them. There'll be a bit more down there. But we're after the shinies. The shinies is where it's at. How's the tool? The tool's half dead. And I believe we left the secondary ones on Betty. But we don't need a ridiculous amount. This is good enough. We got this. What time are we on? Ooh, quarter past five. Alright, we better start thinking about heading back down to get home. The shiny. So pretty. Sorry, can't resist. Like a magpie. And the reason the game keeps uh, stopping like that is because it's running full screen windowed mode. And every so often it thinks the mouse isn't on this window and puts it on a different one. Oh, that was amazing. We got so much from that. And 89 berries nearly fills us up on your water as well, look. That's cool. Hand it to now. Oh, what's this monster got on him? 357. You can carry a bit as well. We're looking good, guys. We're looking really good. Oh, hello, shiny. Oh, crystals. <laughs> <sighs> What's time on now? Oh, it's ticking. It's ticking. Gonna have to be careful. Don't want to get caught out in the dark, but we do have a torch. It could be the vanilla sprinkles mob that's actually bust the head shots. They are way up. Steady on. Yeah, that would have been fun, wouldn't it? Leave all the animals up here and just go off the cliff. Genius. I'm thinking this is the last one then. There. There's the other couple on the way down that we might have to uh, visit. But I think we've done well out of this for our little operation we got going here. It's good. It's good. It's even hot up here. Not completely roasting, but warmer than what I thought it would have been as uh, indicated by the flame icon in the bottom left. Now what are you at? No, that's not weight, that's weight. 272, yeah, you're good for some. Catch. Oh, do we have a second one? Why did we get that down the cave? I think we did. It's cool either way. Right then, so, about face. 
Hopefully we're about to spine a kamikaze in. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I think the turning on the spino is about the same as a Rex. Absolutely bloody useless. Sorry mate, you're a dumper. And the other one. Even though he turned on the dime then. Crazy. I'm sure there was a metal rock around here. Where'd it gone? There it is. And I may try and build a second one. Per uh, furnace as well. How much are there? Stone, flint, wood and fibre. We got this. We got this. Just to cook stuff up that little bit quicker. Yeah, only nine metal off that one. Wow. Uh, we'll head home. And then we'll see about making up a second one. Because we don't have to go too far. I presume the Spino is responsible for any trees that we've missed. Uh, it works like a T-Rex and a Bronto. When they get too close to trees, if they're in the way, the tree will just fall over. <laughs> they just deforest as they walk. Which is kind of handy. Strikes. There we go. Really? You just couldn't resist jumping on my head. Oh dear. That's not good. It's alright. Now you're free. To do what you want to do. Punch in the ass. I believe. Beefy pocket. Lammy, everybody's here. Good, good. Go for this one. Hey, the tree's back. Don't start, Toby. You will lose. Right, I'm going to take a guess at it being the Spino. Yes, because nobody else can swim like a Spino. <laughs> Apparently, we're, that's got to be a piranha, hasn't it? Nothing else is going to be that stupid. So, oh, pop him there. Can we get a new bullet? Thank you. And all is well. Right then, let's try and build ourselves a new forge. So we need five flint. I don't know if I have any flint down here. That's easy. Five flint. Wood, 20. Fibre, 40. Right, we are short on that. Are we? Oh, it's upstairs. I think it's upstairs. Wood. We need two. We can do the wood. I'm going to do this parasol. Oh, hi -ya! How's that for acrobatics? Anybody interested? Yep. <laughs> Should have probably done it with a pike, actually. That would have been cooler. Uh, what is it? 300, the film 300. If you've seen that, you know what I'm on about. If you haven't, watch it. It's really good film. Spartans kicking ass. Would not have fancied upsetting those guys. Uh, hide and fiber. Yeah, we're good. Alright, so all we need now is the stone. That's the heaviest one, and it's probably going to weigh us down. Which is why I didn't pick it up to last. Not encumbered yet. Now we are. Number 15 shot. We are sorted. So how much did all that way? And when it's actually made, it only weighs four. <laughs> but means we've got a second forge. Awesome. Come on, place it. Nice one. What are we doing this with? Wood. Okay. 
Why not spout powder? Do we have spout powder? We don't have spout powder. We do now, but that's not really enough, is it? <sighs> it's getting dark. Oh, gutted. Well, I suppose we've done what we needed to do. Could really do with some more wood. Speak to the monkey. <laughs> Actually, what we could really do, we're getting a lot of flint. Uh, an ankylosaurus flint. You don't get the saddle until level 40. It's dark, so... Well, you want to stay there? You stay there, then. You do that. Being able to throw the torch is awesome. There are some lovely little tricks coming out of this game. More metal. Yeah, that's a nice amount of flint. I'll have a stab at this one as well. And we'll get ourselves back in there. Turn me on. Ooh, it's going to be a late one. I want my torch back. Thank you. And we'll go up here and make some spark powder. Good. Right, let's go get some metal and get it smelting up. 164. Encumbered? Very encumbered. <laughs> Still encumbered. What? With 88. Wow. Can we walk now? Yay, can we walk now? <laughs> well, guys, I think I'm going to leave it here. I'll get this all smelted up, ready for next episode, and we'll see where we're at. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to catch you all then. Take it easy.